This has got to be one of the most gnarly, bent and twisted, warped and cupped tables that I've seen for a long time. It's owned by some friends of mine. It's their kitchen table. They inherited it with the house. But it's a little bit big for the space that they've got and they'd like me to shorten it. And the amount they want it shortened by is denoted by the piece of masking tape. Now this is not going to be without its challenges because they want to retain the bent, gnarled, twisted look and feel of it. And they just like me to lop off one end, I think the statement was. So I've got breadboard ends at each end secured by what look to be real old-fashioned coach nails the warping on the top is absolutely extreme and it drops off as you come into the place they want to cut back to and changes from an upward kilter to a downward and then the cupping on the table is really really bad all the way down and if we look at the apron and the leg and the joinery gapped and become loose because somebody's driven a nail in what well, looks to be just a wire nail in the end to try and secure it. There might even be two nails there. And there's another one at this side. So this is underneath the table at the end that they want cut off. And it looks as if somebody's taken a piece of three by one and a piece of one, two by one, inch and a half by one, and they've literally nailed it into the end absolutely horrific and then looking into the middle of the table there's a piece of six by two seven by two that's been skew screwed up into the tabletop in an attempt to stop it twisting and sagging And this is a dowel. Another nail. So after a bit of a fight, I've finally got it all apart. And this is the hardware that was in it. Just that one end. Unbelievable. Part of the top of this leg post, the side of the mortise has come away. So I'm gonna to have to glue that back in. Because that end was such a nightmare, I'm not gonna go near this end. I was initially thinking I'm gonna take it all apart, but I don't need to do that end to fulfill the promise that I've made. So I'm gonna to attempt to recut the tenons on the aprons at the side without taking that apart. existing tenon to set the size for the new one and as you can see it's, it's offset on the rail so that's marking from the outside of 
course the downside but not taking it completely apart is the fact that it's gonna be a nightmare to cut <laughs> So we're ready for some glue. Well, the glue's drying on the legs I'm gonna cut the top if I cut six inches off the end and that'll do two things for me one it'll allow me to get the end off and then hopefully wiggle these pieces away from that end I really need to keep that intact because it's as beat up and scuffed as the rest of the table but it'll also allow me to see how badly this cuts or how well it cuts so if I get splinters and tear out back here it's not so much of an issue. Well, the cut looks pretty darn good, so I'm going to go for it. So the last question to answer is whether this is all glued or not and if I can get it out without destroying this piece. So I've got a little bit of a gap there. I'm going to start by seeing if I can price something in. I don't think that's going to work. So I'm going to try jigsaw, cut them down through there and then into pieces. See if I can release it that way.
So the last challenge is to refit the breadboard end, but the breadboard end was glued, so it's warped to match the end that I've just cut off. And it's a completely different profile. So you can see this, there's a lovely curve there and a lovely curve there and a lovely curve there. And the breadboard end is totally different. So the only thing I think I can do, the only idea I've got is to put a small cut there and I use the Japanese hand saw to cut it because it's really, really thin. I've got no length at all to play with. So if I put a cut there and then angle it slightly. I'm going to glue this back on. It was glued before and it survived. And I don't think there's that much movement left in the table. I'm going to hold this bit in with a wee screw temporarily. Get them both lined up. That'll keep those two aligned. just scrapings off the floor, sawdust from the floor, from cutting the tabletop with a bit of carrier gel. So that's it. That's about as good as it gets. And considering the state of the piece, I don't think that's too bad. Not the most enjoyable job I've ever done, if I'm honest. I felt like my hands were tied and that I had to be incredibly careful not to add more damage to the already dilapidated state. I hope my friends will be pleased if for no other reason that it is actually shorter than when I started. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much indeed for watching. If you did, then give us a thumbs up. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and if you absolutely loved it why not check out my patreon page thanks very much and see you next time ta -ra.